Imagine a world without chemistry. With no chemical compounds, life will come to a standstill. This is why even the world-renowned Nobel laureates came to India in the year 1950 as a national chemical laboratory to inaugurate Council of Scientific and Industrial Researchers Niche Institute in Pune National Chemical Laboratory later visited by our late president APJ Abdul Kalam National Chemical Laboratory is one of the prestigious laboratory of CSIR and home to chemistry CSIR has a dynamic network of 38 pan India national laboratories 39 outreach centers 5 units with 4600 active scientists and 8000 scientific and technical personnel its constituent laboratory CSIR NCL or National Chemical Laboratory spread across 475 acres has over 200 scientists and over 500 research staff. With a keen interest in chemistry and chemical engineering, our Honorable Science and Technology Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan visited the lab with much anticipation. I आना एक प्रकार से इट्स लाइक ए वेरी चेरिश्ड ड्रीम कम ट्रू एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर प्लेस अज्यूम्स ए लॉट ऑफ इम्पोर्टेंस बिकॉज़ इट इज इट इज ऑलरेडी यू कैन से रेटेड एंड रैंक्ड एस वन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट लेबोरेटरीज इन द कंट्री Along with high-level interactions, he also visited the lab to see closely the progress in unique technologies to resolve India's many pressing problems. Many essential chemical compounds are either imported or produced by only a handful of companies around the world. One such compound is acrylamide or tertiary butyl sulfonic acid, also known as ATBS which is used to modify the chemical properties of broad range of anionic polymers. Widely used in water treatment, acrylic fiber, oil field, latex and adhesive, emulsion coatings, personal care, medicines and construction applications, developing this compound has impacted in reducing prices of all the related commodities. No wonder the contribution of CSIR NCL was recognized through Vasvik Award in 2003. Used in polymerization process, ATBS production has been transferred to Vinati Organics Limited Mumbai for commercial implementation. CSIR NCL provided continuous technical support to Vinati for a year to overcome initial teething problems. With an expanded capacity of 12,000 TPA, it becomes the second largest producer of ATBS in the world. For improved charge, storage walls with unique features in high porosity and conductivity have been developed for high performance supercapacitors. The core shell structured nanomaterials for electrocatalytic applications have not just reduced its cost, but have also provided electrochemical stability. The enhanced catalytic activity has been developed with the presence of electron donating nitrogen atoms and higher exposure of edge planes. Though hydrogen as fuel is still not commercially viable when compared with fossil fuels such as petrol, it hasn't prevented countries from betting big on it, as it is eco-friendly and does not contribute to climate change. India produces about 625 million tons of agricultural residues biomass each year, of which about 150 million tons can be made available for industrial use and this constitutes a sustainable and green source of organic raw materials. CSIR NCL's biodiesel technology, called NCL, was based on a hydrophobic acid catalyst for converting non-edible oils or fats into biodiesel. This technology has been transferred to new century lubricants. Numerous inventions are being designed and developed under the able guidance of our Honorable Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan. He with his visit provided the institute the vision to achieve even higher standards than what it has already etched to make India self-reliant and globally resilient. Brings health and progress in life New industries being established